Ai Weiwei, a Chinese artist and activist, created Dropping a Han Dynasty Urn in 1995 using the theory staring versus looking to challenge his viewers' political views on modern communist China. Post-Communist Revolution China limited artists, only allowing them to create propaganda to promote communism. Then, in 1978, Deng Xiaoping became chairman, freeing their creativity and allowing individuality through Impressionism, Surrealism, and Cubism. This work is a cultural ready-made, which is similar to those of Bearden's collage works, where he collages historical works with contemporary elements for social commentary. Cultural ready-mades allow Ai Weiwei to express ownership and mastery of not only art itself, but also adding his own reinterpretation of cultural identity as he sees it. Sadly, many artists couldn't reach much of the Chinese population because communist values have been too deeply integrated into Chinese society. This is exactly why staring is such a crucial element in this work. By staring directly at the viewer, Ai Weiwei urges his viewers to confront this reality and question the core values in Chinese politics. Through dropping this culturally significant historical vase, Ai Weiwei comments socially and politically, mocking communist values since the modernizing China and rising global economy fueled by mass consumerism and capitalism are opposite to what communist propaganda promoted. However, before diving into the heavy subject matter, Ai Weiwei needs to grab the viewer's attention. He does this through beauty. He frames the subject matter in the center, which makes the composition visually pleasing. As Garland Thompson notes in her book, Staring How We Look, beauty is essential as only after catching the viewer's interests are artists ready to allow viewers to dive in, to judge and scrutinize the subject matter. The artist also takes away power in this vase through staring. The act itself of dropping the vase is controversial, as Weiwei is destroying an important historical artifact. This act rebels against the government's political stance, which may make viewers uncomfortable. Usually, if viewers are uncomfortable, they would be tempted to look away. But Weiwei's stare urges them to hold his gaze, transferring power from the vase, which represents the political scene, to himself. Then, if viewers do choose to look away from his gaze, they could feel guilty for avoiding the reality of the oppressive political scene. Through combining the rebellious act with his stare, Weiwei holds his viewers, especially those with opposite views as him, accountable to confront that political reality and pushes starers towards ocular centrism to define the real meaning behind his rebellious act regardless of what the communist society taught them to believe. His stare forces viewers to take in the reality of the controversial subject and combined with the political criticism that the artist is trying to convey about modern communist China, he forces the public to confront reality and holds them accountable or even socially responsible for so easily accepting it. Therefore, dropping a Han Dynasty urn draws on the essence of all of Ai Weiwei's works. As he states in a recent interview with Bloomberg, the power of my artwork comes not from the act, but from the audience's attention to challenge their values. The act is easy. Every day we can drop something but it's when we're forced to come face to face with his action and make a judgment. That is the interesting part.